Hey there fellow minions of technology, my name is Tim Lee and welcome to Legacy Studio. In today's video, uh, we're going to the music side of things, the music production side of things, and I want to talk a little bit about orchestral samples and things like that. Now, I'm not very well versed in some of this. Uh, I'm not a professionally trained musician. I've played piano for many years, played guitar and other instruments, but I'm not a professionally trained uh, 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 musician or uh, producer. But one thing that I love is I love um, music that has uh, orchestra in it, orchestral type stuff. Uh, I love uh, Hans Zimmer. I love uh, Yanni. I love uh, all these soundtracks that you hear in the backgrounds of some of your favorite action movies and things. Uh, and, and I wanted to do some of that production kind of stuff myself. And so I decided I was going to invest in a program called Reason 11. Uh, now, Reason 11 is absolutely an amazing software and it also benefits from getting something a special plugin that they include with reason 11 called orchestra and orchestra has a whole bunch of beautiful instrumental samples now i don't know where they made orchestra but I've, I've always wondered how realistic are these strings and things that come in this pack and i've always wanted something very realistic well, last night I was laying in bed and I got a notification on my phone that a company that I love called Spitfire Audio that does just the top of the line stuff. They record real instrumental uh, pieces and orchestras and then they turn this stuff into beautiful things that you can play right here on your keyboard, on your computer. Uh, their stuff is so high done so well done but it costs hundreds of dollars at least uh one that i really want is called albium one and it's going to cost 400 plus dollars to get albium one but last night i'm laying in bed and i get this notification that they are selling this thing called epic strings for only 29 dollars and i freaked out and as soon as i woke up this morning i bought it first thing in the morning uh i downloaded it and now i have it here on my computer and I want to look at it for the first time with you guys right here and compare it to the orchestra settings in Reason 11. So let's go ahead and switch over to my other screen here. I already downloaded the Spitfire Audio app that you need to get to get the strings. I've already downloaded the strings into my computer. It was only 2.27 gigs to install this onto the computer, so not a lot of memory required, which I'm very thankful for. So let me go ahead and close this, and we're gonna go ahead and open up Reason 11, and let's compare the two and see what we get. Uh, really quickly here, there we are. So let's go ahead, just starting by opening up a new template, just a random template here. Uh, that way I can start from scratch and not confuse anyone with plugins and extra sound effects and things. And the nice thing about uh, this is that I can bring in VSTs. That's not what a reason uh, you didn't used to have that option. Now they do, and they do a wonderful job at it. So I can scroll down here, and I should have Originals Epic String 64-bit right here, and I can pull it into here and open up the VST. And here it is right here. Now, before I start playing with it and uh, dancing around on the keys and hopefully making something pretty, uh, let's go ahead and close this, and let's take a look at the orchestra sounds pack that comes with Reason 11. Um, in here, brass, harp, mallets, percussion, strings, woodwinds, tons of different options. Since the Epic Strings pack is only for strings, I'm going to stay in the world of strings uh, and open up a couple of these so that you can hear them. Uh, let's go ahead and just open up a, a random bass tone uh, in our uh, stuff here and try and play it and hear what kind of sound we get. Try turning that up for you guys just a little bit more. Sounds pretty realistic. Let's drop it an octave. Now, this is the sound pack that comes with Reason. You can hear those. There's, it sounds like the, there's a bow dancing across the strings and kind of vibrating against them. So there's a reality to this. And I found it really helps to add things like reverbs to this to really help make it sound like a real thing. So give this a shot now. Mm -hmm. 
So that's just one of the different sounds, and they have quite a few options when it comes to orchestra when you get it with reason. But, I mean, bassoons, clarinets, all of these different things under woodwinds and then strings, cellos, um, violins, violas. I mean, they're all in here, and you can also get them in string combinations already pre-built, which is a very nice feature. Uh, if I come in here and I select, uh, here you go, violins, um, violins, uh, let's, let's just give this a listen real quick here. If we come to our main octave in middle C, turn it up a little bit more for you. Go down an octave. Go down another octave. It sounds really great, for sure. And you can feel that build up and, and fall out. But those are things you can't control in here, which I, I am saddened by. I want to be able to control those dynamics, and I want to be able to control those... Uh, um, what else do they call them? Uh, dynamics and expression. How hard is that person pushing on their bow how loud are they trying to express that out there here it is with a little bit of um uh hall reverb on here and let's hear how this sounds go up an octave beautiful sound and if I add a couple delays and things like that then uh, I get some beautiful stuff um, and and if I'm smart I will try to play some of the songs that I've written using the orchestra sound packs uh, here in this video uh, when I'm not playing on the keyboard uh, but let's go ahead now and I'm excited so I want to get right to it let's go ahead and open up the originals epic six uh, Epic Strings 64-bit um, sampler here and put it to the test. Now it says Strings Live. Let's just go right ahead and just play what we get out of it. We don't have any effects on it other than what the Spitfire audio sound effect is doing. Let's see what happens. Go for something a little lower octave now. Oh, that's pretty. That's rich. Let's go down another octave. Nothing at the lower region. Let's come up. All right, so that's the lowest this one goes. Nice and gentle. And hard. Oh, that's like a war zone kind of. All right, let's see how high this can go. All right, we're at our height there. Mod wheel doesn't seem to be doing anything in this case. Though it is controlling something over there on the plugin. I'm not really sure what. I don't really hear any difference there. So right now it doesn't sound incredibly 
different than my orchestra sound pack, which is good, I guess, because if you spend the money that you spent on Reason 11 and you want to do orchestral type stuff, you want to have that power. Now, there are some other things here that we should try. Uh, here's close, room, stretch. I'm not sure there's information on the bottom of this. Close, uh, a close option adds definition to the room signal. So let's turn that on here and turn it up just for giggles to 100%. Try doing it and turning it off. Can't really say I'm hearing much of a difference. Here's the room effect. Okay, that made a difference. Oh, and then if you turn off close, then it turns off everything. Now, is that close or close? It might be close. Feels like just another volume control. Let's turn on the room again. And let's try stretch now. A stretch version of the room creating an ambient synth-like texture. Ah. Odd little extra pump there on the end. Let's try it with the room turned on too. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens with the reverb. Let's turn it all the way down. Let's just keep the room turned on. Bit of an echo still. Let's turn the release all the way down. Bring the tightness all the way up. A little bit of a difference there. Let's turn the release all the way up. A little bit of a long pause. So right now I'm not feeling a lot of changes in the effects as we're messing with this here, but we haven't really gotten into some of the other options here. Uh, let's see, expression, adjust the level uh, in the technique. Now this is stuff I want to be able to control, so I have a mixer board in front of me here, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, and get ahead of the game here. I'm going to turn on remote, I'm going to click a parameter, and I'm going to program it to fader 1. And, and I've watched this in every Spitfire video that they've ever made that they use this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Dynamics is another one. So let's go ahead and uh, program the remote for this one as well. We're going to make that fader too. Okay, so now I'm going to be able to control both of these on a fader, which is I've been... I wanted to purchase this stuff specifically to have that option. Uh, but for giggles, what is this here? This is the knob. Uh, to change what this knob does... Um, click to change what this knob does, reverb, release, and tightness. Uh, so what I can do is I can program the knob uh, to do something as well. So we'll go ahead and program that on channel 3 here real quick. Um, <clears throat> I'm clicking a parameter. There we go. And we'll do fader 3. So now I should have control of the knob and these two settings here. So uh, I've, I, I'm not finding it to do much, but let's try it one more time and see if the dynamics do anything. Right now, I'm not hearing anything. Let's turn it up. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Let's try something a little lower. Something's happening there that I like. Oh, reverb. That's, oh, I 
love it with reverb. Okay, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, really quickly, since I've already programmed reverb into this, let me just go ahead and take a couple of these extra settings here and program them into the remote as well. So let me do this one and the fader four uh, and another one here into fader five. That way I can just have everything controlled all through my pads here. And all I got to do is turn them up and down uh, to control those individually, which I think is going to be a neat little quick feature to have in, in availability. Um, Really quickly, let me program this. Reverb, release, and tightness. I already have all of that programmable through my other pads, so that's great. Let's go ahead and try a different instrument now or different set. So if I do the drop-down menu, there's a couple options here. Live, long, short, pizzicato. I love pizzicatos, so I want to try that. And it looks like you can select a couple options of what you want to deal with. Let's just start with pizzicato and see what that gives us here. Oh. oh, that sounds so much better than my pizzicatos in reason in the orchestra. Hear the little, hear the little click in there? I love that. Love that. Let's go up an octave. Let's try and do some adjustments. Ooh. Something's happening with this one now. Yeah, it's 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 changing it a little bit in, in, in a good way. So I think I've seen guys changing both of these at the same time. Those are pretty high. And there's our lowest. Sounds great. Sounds good. I love that. Okay, so it's really great to see that some of the effects here that I can control in these two are now working. Uh, let's go ahead and see what other options we have here. Uh, long CS. I'm not really sure if I... Or Consort, whatever Consort is. Let's try that out and see what effects we get now. Ooh. I like how you can hear something in the background, a little whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That's the lowest. Can you hear like someone rustling in the background at the end of that note? I love that. Like they pulled the bow off and maybe they're moving around or something. I don't know. Let's go high. That's the highest note, but I'm not sure why I feel like I'm hearing a piano there. 
That's interesting. Ooh, did you feel how rich that was? I love that. All right, let's mess with the expression now. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay, can I just say now and get this out of the way? That's This is so worth the $30 in so many ways, and this is the gateway drug to get me to Albion 1. Oh, I, it's, I know it's $400 plus, but it will be worth every penny at the point in time that I can afford it. Uh, let's, let's check out some of these other ones. Here's the shorts. See what different... Uh, uh, I'm going to just set our, our expression and dynamic here at 50. Uh, this one at 50 as well. Let's just put everything at 50 right now. Tightness at 50 as well. Gentle on the keyboard. And I have this keyboard set for as much expression as possible. So if I go super gentle, and then if I go harder, and that's full hit. Let's turn this all the way up here. There's a weird delay in there. I'm not sure why, but I'm okay with it. But there's a weird delay there. <laughs> Just noticing that my recorder is saying I'm spiking. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It still says I'm spiking. All right. And that's with the expression turned all the way up. I, you'd be controlling that individually. Man, I love that. Love it. Love it. Let's keep going. Short osti ostinato. I don't even know what that is. Let's see what that is. Oh, I love that. Man. I feel like it's really opening up a lot more knowledge to me that I didn't have before. I'm used to pizzicato, I'm used to long, but I don't know what uh, a CS or const whatever is. It's it's really opening up uh, the world for me of what are usually there. All right, long, slow. Let's see what this means. Oh, just a, such a beautiful slow build. Harder. Full hit. It's doing the same thing. Let's turn this all the way up. All right. So this is not reading. Uh, this isn't reading uh, velocity. I love a little ebbing and waning in there. Okay. Let's do it a little higher. And then let me try and see if I can change it now with the expression.
man. That is beautiful. A little bit of vibrato in there. I like that. sounded like there was a um a bassoon in there somewhere in any case then this is only just strings i mean I, I think about what all these other instruments would be this was recorded by real instruments and then simulated on your keyboard uh to be and and it's so much work to truly make a good simulation uh but i mean this is not even i don't know how many true i mean i guess they have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven different options for effects that can be used uh, through here. Uh, all the same instruments, of course, but uh, for $30, if you think about how much their really good stuff is, I'm in love. I'm in love. And it only is the gateway drug to get me to Albion 1, uh, maybe the Hans Zimmer stuff, but then you're looking at $400, $800 for Hans Zimmer's stuff. Um, but it's a start. And if you're looking to get into the world of orchestral work, uh, this is just phenomenal. I cannot wait to write some music with this. Uh, and, and if you're listening to me now and you're hearing some music underneath me, all the music that you're hearing now was written in the old orchestra stuff. So in saying that, uh, one of the things I really love about Spitfire Audio is that they say that it is absolutely not a requirement that you have to have better uh, samples and better sample libraries to have success in the world of music. Uh, and I believe that to also be true. Uh, it certainly helps, and it gives you a higher quality product, but there are so many people writing amazing songs where they're not using the biggest and the best. Um, and for $30 for this sample library uh, of uh, these strings, it really is phenomenal. I cannot wait, and I admit, this is going to replace my strings and my orchestra uh, stuff. I'm going to use this over my strings and my orchestra stuff, hands down. Uh, listen, it's a long video, but I really hope it gets you as excited as it got me. For only $30, if you already have a DAW or a digital audio workstation like Reason 11, um, uh, Ableton Live, uh, Pro Tools, whatever those are, uh, this is an external VST. This will work in any of those softwares as long as they support VSTs. So you just, just get it. $30 is all it takes. Um, I wish I was sponsored, and if uh, Spitfire Audio sees this, please get in touch with me. Uh, I am enamored with your stuff. I just can't afford your stuff. Uh, and I want to talk more with you guys because I'm addicted to what they are creating, and I would be very happy to be one of the reasons why their stuff is further on the Internet than Christian already helps them get out there with his amazing videos. I'm so excited to utilize this in all of my music from here on out. I think it's going to make a big difference in my stuff. Um, but in saying that, even the even Christian, who's heavily involved in in everything that they've created, uh, and and you know what, I'm going to put a link into his his channel down below. Uh, really, he says you do not need the latest VST. You do not need the latest uh, uh, library of samples to be a successful musician. It's true, <laughs> but I want their stuff. So anyway, that's very awesome. I got my first Spitfire audio uh, sampler kit, and boy, I am so pleased with it. It's worth every penny, and $30 is so affordable in comparison to what true high-quality stuff is. Uh, and this is true high-quality stuff. Real instruments recorded in Air Studio London. Uh, fantastic. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't bore you, and I hope all you music buffs like me just freaked out. Go on and buy it. Please tell them, if you have a way to get in contact with them, that Tim Lee from Legacy Studio sent you. I would appreciate it. God bless you guys. See you later.